Bob, we have to go do a Mike McGuire interview. Video game. Video game. Seriously, Bob, I have to go do this interview. I might be late. Great, go do it. You want me to be late? Go do it. Go do the interview. Okay, fine. I will. Thanks for having me and for reading my Twitter bio. I appreciate that. <laughs> for those that don't know, you know what is what is the Mike McGuire comic book origin story? Uh, I was actually uh, adopted by my grandma when I was young, and uh, we lived all across the country, all over the place. And there was a time where she actually got sick, and uh, I grew up. Uh, in the system, so I had different families and different foster parents and stuff taking care of me. Then eventually I got to move back home with her and I got to follow my dream of going after a radio career, which is something that when I was moving from house to house to house over the years, I would find radio and I would find another thing I loved, pro wrestling, would be things that were always around. So that's that's kind of the nuts and bolts of it, I guess. What, what inspired you to become a broadcaster? There were two guys in Edmonton named Rob Christie and Audie Lins, and they were the funniest morning guys on the radio, hands down. And I wanted to be those guys, and I didn't know how to do it for a long time, but uh, yeah, that was listening to them, because they, they did all this stuff and nobody had to see their face. What is your earliest memory of wrestling? My earliest memory of wrestling was actually staying with my cousin one time and somebody in the house there was watching it and i saw these guys uh the honky tonk man and the ultimate warrior oh, and hulk hogan and those guys and i remember watching those and then i remember just falling in love with it and this was before the wwe network or anything like that existed but you actually had to go out and you had to rent wrestlemania on videotape and i remember that i wasn't allowed to stay up and watch wrestlemania when we got it the first time so, as the family was watching it down in the basement, I fell asleep with my face against the vent, you know, like in, in your house, so I could hear WrestleMania V being happening in my ears. <laughs> I woke up with, with vent marks on my face. <laughs> Who is your favorite announcer? My favorite announcer as far as like wrestling announcers go? Uh, any announcer. Any announcer? Um, I'd have to say that Audie Lins was actually probably one of my favorites. And if you haven't heard of him, that's fine, because he was more of an Edmonton guy, but he was probably one of the best I ever heard. Um, and then for ring announcers, uh, I always loved Howard Finkel. He was the guy in the, the old school WWF with a little mustache, and he'd always introduce people, coming down the aisle, like that. And uh, Mean Gene, of course you know who Mean Gene Oberlin is, right? Yeah, yep. he just passed away. Yes, he did. And uh, yeah, he was probably one of the best. And then for a play-by-play, uh, I, I put it as uh, Jim Ross for sure. Good old JR. Who is your favorite wrestler here? My favorite wrestler now or all time? Because I can give you all both. Time. All time? Both. Bret the Hitman Hart. Hands down. And Bret has become a, a casual friend. We, we text maybe a few times a year. Got to hang out with him a couple of years ago in Saskatoon for a few hours, and we became buds and told some jokes, and I went over to his house and sat by the pool and told old wrestling stories. I just sat there like, I can't believe he's telling me these stories. But who do you like right now? Oh, wait, I kind of like Cody. Cody's pretty good. And the Bucks. The Bucks are pretty good, too. And I am also, I just remember another wrestler I into Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho, yeah. You're getting on that AEW bandwagon, eh? You're, you haven't even seen a match yet, but you're all in. Pun intended. 
What's your favorite memory of working with Mrs. Scalper? I don't know. Winning the cup this past year and a couple years before that was probably pretty cool. Um, the fact that they gave me a championship ring is pretty neat. I'm not wearing it right now, but that's only because it's the size of my hand. Um, oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty oh, big. Oh, an actual ring. Oh. Yeah, it's like an actual ring that goes on your wrist. It's huge. What is your guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure? I would say LJ and wrestling figures. Um, I like I like wrestling collectibles a lot. I got some pretty cool stuff. When did you start collecting them? I started collecting probably about 20 years ago. And I still have toys from when I was about your size, as a matter of fact. Uh, and then probably the coolest thing I have is an actual turnbuckle pad that was used at WrestleMania 8. So you know when you see those pads in the ring on the corners? I have one of those hanging up in my house. Yeah. Favorite social media? Why? I'm really digging Instagram, to be honest, these days. You know? And, and I think the reason why is because Instagram only shows you stuff, stuff that people love doing. Fan favorite or heel? Oh, fan favorite. It depends on who it is. Because I'll tell you, a lot of the heels end up getting cheered for, right? Yes. Like a lot of the bad guys. Like, I'll tell you right now, Daniel Bryan's a bad guy in name. But he's doing some of my favorite stuff right now. And I'm a huge fan of title belts. But what he did to the championship had me laughing hysterically. Coffee or energy drink? Neither. Believe it or not, I, I don't do either. I, uh, I enjoy Diet Coke once in a while. Uh, but once in a while, I mean probably more than once in a while. But um, yeah, coffee doesn't do it for me. And energy drinks, I don't know. Cat what. or dog? I have two cats. Yes, I have three. I love cats. Boom. What are your cats' names? Agatha, Gordy, named after Gordy Howe. Wow, nice. And Inky. He has like a uh, black tail suit. Ink. That's cool. My cats' name are Sparky and Cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my friend has a, a cat named Kitten and a cat named something like that, like Cat. Yeah. Marvel or DC? Uh, for movies, definitely Marvel. For comics, DC. I just love DC since I love the Flash from DC and the Green Arrows. That's cool too. He's also the Flash. Yeah, I uh, I just started reading the Batman Who Laughs in comics right now, and it's super scary. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Like, I just finished the books and I'm watching the last two or three movies. Can I, can I tell you a secret right now? I'm ready. You can't, you can't tell anybody this stuff, can okay? I haven't read a single Harry Potter book and I haven't seen a single movie. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, I'm just making sure because I'll tell you right now, you tell some people that, they're like, <gasps> What? <laughs> right? I appreciate it very much. Yeah. I'm hoping sometime I'm interesting enough for your brother to join us. But I realize I'm no Splatoon. Maybe he'll take this head out of video games. Well, you know, I mean, there's some good games. You get me behind some good games right now. I ain't leaving the house either. Yeah, I'm playing. Sad state of affairs. I could probably make making a lot more money. Bob, you will never believe what happened. I just died. Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna be